Lost in the mists of time, reservist crew tanks are back. For years, the Royal Wessex Yeomanry has focused on supplying crewmen to work with regular armoured regiments. But this exercise is about readying part-time soldiers to crew whole tanks. This training isn't just about a return to role after Afghanistan. It's also about integrating the new Army Reserve with the regulars. Because once the dust settles on Army 2020, these guys will be expected to support the full-time armoured regiments based here on Salisbury Plain. We're proving the concept that reservists can operate the most complicated land system in the British Army you know, at weekends, make a great job of it and do some really high quality training out here on Salisbury Plain. I mean, the regiment's had a responsibility for training challenge two individual replacements for several years. Um, but the real change now is actually providing form crews, teams and groups of up to four tanks from each squadron to support the regular army. So we're going to keep building on what you see here today. Working with the regulars doesn't just mean other soldiers. The Royal Air Force is involved too, delivering some brand new kit for the reservists. These Land Rovers are used to train in when Challenger 2s aren't available. And the RAF's biggest helicopter provides a whole new level of training realism to the soldiers in the back. It's completely out of the ordinary. Uh, you, can't, you can't do anything like this anywhere else. You know, where else are you going to get the chance to go in a Chinook? Uh, so, yeah, it's completely uh, contrasted to what I'm doing in my normal life. And we want to come out here more often. We want to get on ranges. We want to be working with the regs more often as well. We're working with the Royal Air Force right now on this exercise. So, yeah, yeah, we want a lot more of this. And that is the plan. This exercise, named Spring Warrior, is just the start. These reservists will now get increased access to resources like tanks, simulators and air support. The more you invest in these things, the more of a return you get. And I think we've been guilty, again, over the last 10 or 15 years of underinvesting in the reserve's core role in things like this. And I think that's going to make a real change um, now that we're doing that. And you get a much better return because the, the training's higher quality. It's at the basis the entire army works. You know, you, you build up the training and you get a very functional battle group at the end of it. Everything's more than the sum of its parts. The Royal Wessex Yeomanry is one of only two combat reserve units within the Army's new High Readiness Reaction Force, a key element of the reforms known as Army 2020. And that makes it a real priority to ready the reservists for their new role. Will Inglis, Forces News, on Salisbury Plain.